Google's line of mobile smartphones is in its third generation of being known as Pixel devices. And what we have in the Pixel 3 is something that is as refined, as polished, and as good as anything that the Mountain View company has ever slapped their G logo on. But does that make it worth the high price tags that Pixel branded devices have been known for recently? I'm Sean from Silicon Theory. Let's see if I can answer that question in my Pixel 3 review. The design of the Pixel 3 is both familiar and new at the same time. In some ways, it very closely resembles the Pixel 2 XL of last year, and in others, it has a fresh new look while staying true to the overall Google design language. The metal rear chassis was swapped for one of two-tone glass, which both keeps fingerprints at bay and allows for wireless charging, a feature long coveted by Pixel fans. The clearly white model also adds a bit of whimsy with its green color power button, which is an excellent touch. The size is just right, and the devices fit a 5.5 inch display very easily and comfortably in the palm of your hand. Much has been made of the LG display in the Pixel 3, and unfortunately, the OLED lottery continues this year. If you get a good one, you will be more than happy with the panel you look at every day. If you don't, you may end up wanting to return it, and you should. For what Google is charging, you should be satisfied with the part of the technology that you're looking at every single day. I think that this is an area where Google can and should be doing better for their customers. The Pixel brand has been synonymous with excellent camera for a while now, and this year is no exception. The Pixel 3's camera produces arguably the best photos you'll get from any mobile device. If a great smartphone camera is your number one priority, the Pixel 3 should be at the top of your list. There is much more parity than ever at the top of the heap, however, with the iPhone XS and the Galaxy Note 9 all sporting excellent cameras at similar prices. And even more moderately priced devices like the iPhone XR and the OnePlus 6T carry very good mobile cameras. Google does leverage their tremendous cloud services to the benefit of Pixel owners, and unlimited full resolution backups are something, in addition to the camera, that prospective buyers should take into consideration. And that's before enhancements like night sight and the wide angle dual selfie cameras are taken into consideration. You can be sure that if you buy the Pixel 3, that you will love the pictures you get from it. Like the camera, performance on the Pixel 3 is an area of strength. The combination of modern components and Google optimizing the hardware and software stack means zero lag when doing just about anything. Scrolling through menus, opening and closing apps, all smooth and brisk, making the Pixel a joy to use. Now, that doesn't mean the Pixel is without its issues. Photos disappearing, RAM management, and a few other software issues have plagued both the larger and smaller Pixels since launch day. But those are software issues, and as such, should be fixable via OTA updates in the near future. Pixel updates come swiftly and direct from Google, and Pixel 3 owners will for sure see updates for the next several years, including Android S, whatever that ends up being. And speaking of software, now that smartphones are approaching hardware parity in terms of good screens, reliable cameras, and top-tier processors, Software is how Google intends for the Pixel 3 to stand apart from the pack. Features like night sight and top shot in the camera and call screening show that Google is looking to add value in areas that can make a difference in buyers' everyday lives. Also recently added is the digital well-being feature that can help users manage how often and for what reasons they use their phone. And owners also have the ability to contact Google support reps via the tips and support option right from the main menu. It's clear that Google is seeking to understand what most consumers want from their phones and to help make their lives easier. And the majority of new features in the Pixel 3 can do just that. But your phone can't make your life better if you're constantly charging it. And in my case, battery life has been about what I expected. Again, everyone's uses are different, 
but in the ways I use my phone every day, including a few hours of audio and video streaming, a moderate amount of text messages, and the occasional deep dive into Reddit, the battery on the Pixel 3 gets me through a full day. Average screen on time is somewhere between 3 and 4 hours, depending on how much access to Wi-Fi I have. My Pixel 2 XL, after a year of use, got me to about that same place, and so I'm perfectly happy with how long the phone lasts. And there's always the option of fast wired charging or wireless charging as well this year. So let your battery anxiety become a thing of the past and enjoy the modern smartphone present. The Pixel 3 is, without question, the finest mobile phone ever produced by or for Google. It has useful software features, sports the best mobile camera available, and is one of the fastest and easiest phones to use as a daily driver. But Google raised the base starting price this year and made a few other questionable choices when producing the Pixel. At $799, Google is competing with devices like the iPhone XR and the Galaxy S9, both of which have either superior or additional hardware, like the display, SD card slot, and headphone jack of the S9, or a lower starting price for comparable specs, as in the case of the iPhone XR, which also has a larger 6.1 inch display. For all of the above reasons, the Pixel 3 is the right choice for me personally, and probably would be a good choice for a lot of people. But for the same, or in some cases less money, you can get other really good phones. And that means that unlike in years past, the Pixel 3 won't be the best value and likely won't be our pick for 2018 phone of the year. But if its high starting price isn't a barrier to entry for you, the Pixel will reward you with an amazing overall smartphone experience. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop us a like. And for more of our content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then click on the bell icon to be notified the next time a video hits our channel. Thanks again, and remember, we will talk tech soon.